Good morning. Good morning. Um, so um, I decided to make this video today to speak about two things. Okay, by the way, for those of you who haven't met me, my name is Tapewa Kadikwa. Um, feel free to follow me on all my socials, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This video will also be posted on my YouTube channel where I intend to spend a bit more time um, over the next few months. Uh, I really, I, I'm enjoying YouTubing. I'm enjoying content um, creation. I'm enjoying uh, conceptualization. And I think it will also give me the platform to speak about something that's very close to my heart, but also something that I'm very, very knowledgeable about. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please feel free to do so. Tuapewa Kadikwa. And then you click that uh, subscription button. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel, so <laughs> please grow with me a big, okay? It's not too much to ask. Okay, so what do I want to speak about today? Um, yesterday, which is the, the 4th of September, I spent some time with some young people, um, a group of young girls, and obviously they are between the ages of 18 to 24, and they're just, you know, discussing some of their challenges with me, and one of them was, you know, the fact that they wish they could get jobs, you know, uh, we need jobs, we have to get employment, and Mekpewa, you must assist us to get jobs, etc. And then, um, as we unpack that expectation, um, I asked them, have you tried entrepreneurship? Um, okay, how can we become entrepreneurs if we don't have money, okay? Have you considered developing a skill? Because if you have a skill, obviously you can work. You don't need employment, you can work. And once you are able to work, you can generate money as long as you're providing a service that's needed by the community. Yeah, but it's hard, etc. So it was such a thick session for me, and I realized the issue is not a job, the issue is not a skill. We are operating, I'm saying we because I'm sure um, I could relate with them. I was there as well, but I've never sat in that, that hole. But uh, a lot of young people, or some, are operating from a defeated standpoint. And when I say defeated, if you are defeated in your mind that, you know, everything is negative, everything is not going to work, people are against you, people are against your business, people are against your ideas. That That is a key ingredient in entrepreneurship. And I've written a book on entrepreneurship. I pray that I complete my next book. But I know that mindset, mindset plays a critical role in that enterprise. And it's not the mindset of your employees, it's not the mindset of your colleagues, it's not the mindset of your clients, it's your mindset. If your mindset is defeated, if it has any element of negative pollution, you can start any business you want. You will quit when the first challenge comes. And I want to tell you that the challenges are in a queue when you start a business. As you just hit this one, you realize that one is springing up. It can be so overwhelming. But if your mindset is defeated, every business will be a challenge. Every idea will be a challenge. Everything will become a challenge. That's number one. And that's driving me to number two, which is knowledge. The book of Hosea says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. My people, this is now the prophet Hosea speaking, looking at the environment. He's saying, guys, I want you to move forward, but you have lack of knowledge. Knowledge of what? Knowledge of self, knowledge of the environment, knowledge of the business opportunity, knowledge of the landscape, knowledge. And this is why I have this un unbelievable passion for knowledge acquisition. I, I encourage you, if you are looking for a path in life, be it a path to developing an enterprise, a path to grow, a path for career development, a path for enterprise development, whatever direction you want to go to, develop an appetite for knowledge. We have a, 
a vocational training center. It's called TK Institute. TK represents Dr. Wakandikwa. We just couldn't, you know, spell it all out. TK Institute Vocational Training Center, and we have four departments. Four departments for uh, uh, department one is um, hospitality and tourism. There's short courses there, entrepreneurship and business, short courses, cosmetology and beauty, short courses, and then lastly, agriculture and agripreneurship. So um, I urge you to look up what we offer, but you can also look at other environments, wherever you are. Look for a course, a training, a workshop, a webinar, a seminar, 